All right, Karma Temptation. I'm kind of recording this on the fly. Off the fly? On the fly? Off the cuff? Whatever you want to call it. I did watch some of this uh, this morning. I kind of had it on in the back um, while I was doing my morning stuff. So I did see some things here and there, but I didn't get to just like sit and watch it by itself, right? So I haven't watched this uh, just yet in its entirety, but that is why I did not stream it. So uh, my apologies, but we're going to watch it now. Stephanie is about to talk that talk about Ashra, so I'm very much so looking forward to it. So let's check her out. Let's do it. All right. So Ashra is a demon who has found an artifact, the Chris. It's a mystical sword. And when this stage is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna probably be talking, so I'm just gonna turn this down because I'll probably be talking a lot. Um, but this is this looks so good. The stage, oh look at the uh, Umgadi warriors in the back. Okay, anyway, let's focus on Asha. Let's focus on Asha. Her, her like basic combos are so swaggy. I think it's just because she's so flashy. Like she really is a flashy character. And uh, she mainly fights with the Chris, which is very exciting in my personal opinion. I hope that's not too loud. I really hope that's not too loud. That would suck if I, if I can't use this recording. Well, we all know that's the bop. I've played against uh, Dan in cinematics plays a lot of Asher and it's the range. Okay, so they're not really showcasing anything right now. I think Stephanie is just cooking up a bit. Let's go over her throw. There's a grab. Slashy slash. The slashy slash. We got a bop. We got a flashy slash. Ooh. Okay, that is a cool throw. frost cameo move. And now let's go over special moves. Okay, now we're gonna go over her special moves. She has a really unique play style. So the first thing she has is projectile. Mm -hmm. Which is not a typical fast. Okay. That's not that range. How's the range? Oh, okay, not full screen. Gotcha. It, it, again, it looks cool. All of Asha's moves just look amazing. And you're not ducking it. Exactly. Good one, Tyler. Also has crisscross, which is a sword slash, which is excellent. That is sick. That is really cool. And control kind of the ground and the air. And what's one of the ways you beat like long range tricky tools? You beat? Beat it, yeah, by jumping. Yeah. So you could say okay. you jump, jump. Uh, oh, we, we can do an air combo version oh, yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, is that? I don't understand why people say this is cringe. I don't. Know that. <laughs> what are they talking about? What What is cringe? What is cringe? So, Enlighten me. Were, did any of the attacks you were just showing have ex versions? Um. Yes. Fact, okay, we'll EX version, show me. The sword uppercut, which mm -hmm. when you EX it, Ooh, okay, yeah, no, that's nice. Ooh, that's what I want. That, that is what I like to see. So EXing it into like an air combo gives it a lot more room to grow for sure, I'm, I'm sure. Ooh, you can EX the slashy slash as well. Okay, I did see this. I even tweeted about it. I was like, what the fuck is she doing? It kind of reminds me of like Sindel. A tiny bit. And she can also do that is so cool though. And like teleporting to where it's at is, is absolutely insane. I feel like that I feel like that just has so much versatility. She's got a bunch of range attacks. Yeah, when, range attacks. And distance. With her sword attacks. And distance. So yeah, yeah. The fact that she fights that entirely with the sword is actually like a welcome addition, I think. She has that special move that just is a rising sword attack that's just then gonna allow her to extend air combos. Exactly. Nailed it. But there's one really cool mechanic involved in all this. Okay, show it off. I, I do know what they're gonna show here. Tell us about that layer. Let's peel that onion. That's so crazy. That is so crazy, chat. We won. We actually won. Like, not only are they giving Ashra more depth to her character, like with her story and with her actual visual appearance, but they're also adding this like layer to her within her gameplay. And I think that's uh, it's just so good. Like it, it is just so good. So we're gonna watch how this is um how this is played. I didn't really pay attention more so after this part, so I don't know the differences between the two forms. But um that's just so cool. I'm very happy with that. Uh, and also the visual like representation of it with the purple and the gold, um is really interesting. And I wonder if that's gonna actually have to do with her story presence in the game because like she is like actively purifying her soul with the Chris. But she still seems to tap into the demon powers when she needs to. And in the trailer, we did see her use majority of the uh, angelic Chris powers. But then in the uh, later part of the trailer, she did fight Havoc in that same fight, assumingly, with uh, these powers. So I wonder if that's going to have to tie into the story. And like maybe she has to tap into the demon powers to take out Havoc. 
and like it, it, it ends up not helping her like it ends up actually being a detriment to her actual mental state um i'm very excited to see that but anyway enough story talk you guys know i'm obsessed with the story um more so than the gameplay but but with mk1 i do think i'm going to take the story um pretty seriously uh for sure this is going to be the first game where i uh really try and get into the gameplay aspect okay her fireball becomes a ground spark you can reach full screen oh jeez. short Oh wait, that does that okay. replace that so replaces that the um the projectile? Is that what that does? This changes the properties on most of her specials. Okay, okay so most of her specials. Oh, okay, I do like that. I do like that. Can that open up to a juggle or is it kinda no you can't really advance on that? Okay. But you do have different ranges. Okay, I see. And, um, so you can switch back and forth pretty willy-nilly. Does it, it doesn't take meter or anything, right? Oh, wait, what is this? Okay, I want you guys to hear this. What is this? Okay. So that's the, the dash thing. Oh, okay, so it is slightly different with the demon power. I see. What a lovely card. Did you guys hear that? I'm glad that they could join us. They're, they're really excited about Ashra as well. Oh, okay, so the opponent is getting a stack on them. What? I did not realize this happened. What? Yo, are you serious? Her light attacks will do more damage. Okay, so you go into the demon form. You attack them with the demon form, get those stacks onto the enemy. Then... You switch back to the light form, and the Chris is like, oh shit, I have to purify this person. And so the Chris is doing more damage to that person with the stacks on them. And so I'm assuming the more stacks, the more damage? I'm not sure if they specified that. Oh, okay, so depending on how many stacks, you do an extra hit of damage, okay. No, that is so cool. Oh my god, Ashra. That is so cool. What can she do? Yeah, what can she do? I don't think she has a command grab. She does not have No command grab. Okay, interesting. I guess that is a compromise, right? But like Ashra's you won't really like with the way that Ashra is kind of built up here, the command grab like sacrifice isn't that bad. I think that, like, for her playstyle, right, as long as you are catering to what she does best, you should be fine. Okay. Oh, cameos. Okay, there we go. Again, again, chat, I've said it so many times, cameos are extremely important. They're going to be so important. I'm sorry about the if you guys can't hear them or if you guys can't hear me. I, I don't know. I wish I could test it, but I can't. Just bear with me. Exactly. She also has Orby Orb. Orby Orb. Where she sends a frozen Orby Orb. That is really cute. That is cute. That's basically it. Exactly. A perfect time to switch your stance. Oh, no, that's true. Okay, so yeah, when cameos open up, that is a good time to do that. I know that uh, Frost does have an additional cameo move. Doesn't she have like a fourth cameo move that kind of just like full screens? Yeah, there you go. I've seen that before. I think it might have been Uncaged video or um, or a Caboose video. I can't remember. But that is really cool. That is really cool. Frost does seem like... Uh, uh, very much so like an assist cameo, which I know they're all assist cameos, but I mean like she um, she helps you out greatly, I think. Um, she really is like a valuable asset to making you better, which I know every cameo does that, but I think you guys know what I'm saying. I'm not like a professional fighting game player, so I don't know how to explain this better, but and all, uh, there you go. Now the meter burner hold down stabby stab. Did that cost any additional meter or anything like that? I believe it's still the same as regular. Okay. I believe. I do not okay, that's good. See, so okay. resource management doesn't seem like that big of an issue with Ashra. And I think that's actually going to lend it lend itself like greatly to her character. It's like you can do a lot with her without sacrificing a lot to do so. 
and I think that's ultimately going to be very good. From what I've seen, it seems that she's kind of like the opposite of Garrus in that aspect, where Garrus has a very high risk, but also extremely, utterly crazy, insane high reward. Um, but for Ashra, it seems that there's not that high of a risk. Once you get in the pocket, like, you're good, you're set. But the problem probably arises with, like, who you're fighting. Um, that's what I'm getting from Ashra. It seems that she might have some matchups that are actually kind of tough to get around, for sure. But then again, that's every character. In progress, things yeah. are still being tweaked and, and balanced and whatnot. Totally. So things you see here damage-wise and that sort of thing may change, obviously. Yeah. So uh, oh, there's a, there's a very good chance. Yes. <laughs> there's a very good chance. We'll all remember it. the combo I did back in oh, the here 11 goes. That, that just didn't work later. No, I, oh, I the still Dundee. the Dundee. Yeah. The Dundee. And I still hear about it this day. <laughs> so let's check out our fatal blow. Okay, I, I have seen this. I, I did see this. Um, best fatal blow in the game? Question mark. Perhaps. Perhaps. Oh, there's Sindel by the way. Um, people are, are everyone and their mom is pointing this out, but that is Sindel right there. Um, this is like, we had this, uh, not leaked, but we had this in like that trailer so long ago. I don't know if you guys remember that, it was like a TV spot or something. Like a YouTube ad that, um, had this in it. But, um, now we finally see it in like, not necessarily better quality. I'm sure she's all of like, four pixels there. But we do get to see it more clearly for sure. And, um, Melina is also there. There's also this tweet I saw that was really funny. I'll, I'll have it at the end of the video. Um, but Melina is like a... Is like hyping up the person who's fighting. I wonder what Sindel will be doing. Like, um, they made sure not to show it in the combat cast. But like, when you fight with, um, when you fight right over there on the left side of the stage by Sindel, I wonder how she's gonna like react to it. Cause she does seem like a very, you know, like a very laid back royalty. Like, you know how Sindel is. But l let's see this. This is so crazy. Oh, impaling with the wings. Oh, I actually can't even show this, can I? I don't think I can even show this. Oh my god, that's so that's so tragic. Maybe I'll make it black and white and show you guys. Yeah, okay, so the wing impaling. Then the wings, like the actual feathers on the wings, turning into these spikes. Um, we did see something very similar to this with her fatality, of course. Her fatality is amazing, and it has like the holy fire as well. Um, so it, it's just so good. Like They actually gave her such a good aesthetic as well as such a unique identity, and it's it's so good. They really put a lot of love into Ashra. And then, oh my god, the explosion, it's just so cool. That is that is a really, really good, uh, that is a really good fatal blow. Very good. Still a demon. Awesome. Oh, can you, oh, you said that. Still a demon for sure. Oh, is that it? Is that it for Ashra? So there you have it, Ashra's gameplay. Um, I mean, let me know your guys' thoughts. This is amazing. I think it is really good. I think they did her justice. Um, they probably did her justice and then some. Um, this stage, by the way, I didn't talk about it as much as I probably wanted to in my little brain, but this is really good. The whole time, I'm like in awe at these stages, like in the back of my mind. I'm just like, oh my god, like they really did that. And um, I retweeted uh, I retweeted a tweet from Losty earlier. Um, she pointed it out as well. It's like the stages in this game are so vibrant, so beautiful. I know people love the Deception, the Armageddon, the old creepy MK style, like MKX kind of. And um, I love that too. That was my favorite thing, of course. MK Deception is my favorite game. But I think the vibrant, colorful, just uh, like bright and serene nature to this game is, is awesome. It, it honestly gives it its own unique identity. And um, I, I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm very happy with it. Okay, yeah, I'll end here. It's already getting pretty long, but um, I'm happy with this. Let me know your guys' thoughts on Ashra. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the Frost um, Cameo Fighter. And also your thoughts on the stage as well as Sindel. I don't complain that much, I really don't, and um, I think that this is like one of those aspects where it's like, how can I complain? Like, what did they do wrong? Like, what did they do wrong? Like, it was consistent cookery. We had good gameplay from Stephanie, a good representation of her moves, the moves look good, the stage looks good, the fatal was good, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. And ladies, gentlemen, and MB beauties, make sure you all stay safe, stay hydrated, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.